Hi everyone, so today we're going to do a lecture on architecture lettering. Okay, so for architecture lettering, a little bit of introduction, it is expected that we as a designer or an architect that uh, in all of our blueprints, drawings and design to have architecture lettering. So this lettering was established ages ago by architects so that all writing on blueprints were legible before costly mistake would not be made. So the bad handwriting tends to make uh, our design look amateur. So all handwriting should match the quality of our own design. So basically, practice is a basic necessity to develop the skills needed to make the letter legibly. So just as each individual has a unique handwriting, we also have a unique lettering style. So architecture lettering has an animated quality while appearing very uniform and neat. So guidelines is a very light and almost invisible. It's actually a line, straight lines that we use before we do our lettering. It should be drawn with a 4 hitch pencils while the lettering should be darker, drawn with a 2 hitch pencils. So the higher the number of the lid is the lighter the lid colors. Okay, so for the pencil techniques, the best pencil to use for lettering is uh, HF and HB grades. So hold your pencils in the position shown in the image here. It should make approximately a 60 degree angle with the paper. So if your hand is sweaty, try to put an extra paper underneath it so it won't smudge your paper. So here is a pencil lead designation. So you can see um, that from 9H to 4H is a lighter range of the pencils and then 3H to B is a middle range and 2B to 7B is a darker range of the pencils. So try to make sure that you choose the right pencil to use for your own lettering technique. Okay, so to start your lettering, developing a good lettering is a personal skill which takes a lot of practice. So your letters must be formed properly. They must be open shape and very legible. So lettering may be done um, using a drafting type pencils, lead holder or a technical pen. So whichever tools that is used, the letter must be properly formed and very black. So try to put the pencils or pen across the paper and all lettering strokes should be a pulling motion. Right-handed and left-handed uh, writers should have a div different style for forming the letters. And then press down hard when using the pencils. Okay, here are some examples of the freehand lettering. So you can see uh, whichever lettering style that suits your identity the most. So this is uh, another example. So the importance of good lettering, it cannot be overemphasized. So the lettering can make or break uh, your own drawing. So the pencil lettering in another way should be very uh, soft and then sharp pencil should be clean, cut and dark. So and then you should accent the ends of your strokes. Here are some examples um, of a poor lettering. So the first one is poor letter forms. Maybe the strokes are too thin or perhaps the strokes are too heavy. And the last example, the letters should be a blacker. So a darker pencil should be used. So now we're going to do a hands-on exercise during this uh, lecture. So what you're going to do is, you're going to try to write the sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So here is my attempt um, to do the same sentence, which is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. First, draw the guidelines. And then if you are not confident enough, you can use a ruler to start doing your lettering.
Okay, so for your next tutorial exercise, you're going to do your own architectural tree. So what you're going to do is you're going to write down your lyrics of your favorite songs. So here I attach some of the examples of a good architectural lettering done by our previous students. So here is one example. Okay, you can see that it's very neat um, and it's readable. Okay, this is the second one. Also, it's very neat. So here is a time lapse of me doing the architectural lettering. I know that you guys can do much more better than this and I only take a very short time to do this and this time constraint. So perhaps um, you guys can do a much better than job than me. summary of this lecture is basically you have to have your own guidelines before starting your own lecture. So your the guidelines uh, lid should be lighter so normally we use a polish for the guidelines and then for the lettering you should use a darker lid or darker pencils and you always use a straight edge to draw the vertical lines for your letters first and all other parts of the letter draw on freehand. So the letters should be dark, dark and dark. Last but not least, your letters should be all in the same width. Okay, to recap for today's lecture, your task is to write down your favourite lyrics for your tutorial T4. And then we, the tutors, will be ready in teams for any consultations regarding your tutorial assignments. Last but not least, your submission will be submitted on Friday or at least on Monday. Okay, so that's all for my lecture today. Thank you very much for watching and listening to the video. So if you have any questions, you can contact me via email or in Times module site. Good luck and all the best.